Hey Scorpio, welcome to your WLC Weekly Love Connections reading. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. To all my subscribers, thank you for your continued support. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. For more love readings, you can check out my channel. I do readings weekly, monthly, sometimes bi-monthly, and sometimes um, free readings on the weekend too. And I go live as well on Mondays for the Gypsy Monday Night Star Roll. So if you want more readings, you can go and check out my channel. Yeah. If you happen to like this reading, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Yeah. I would appreciate that because that will help me grow my channel. And for those of you where this reading may not resonate, you can check out your other placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. And you can watch those reading of those signs in my channel as well. All right. Scorpio, let's get on with your reading. What do we have for Scorpio in love? Scorpio in love, please. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter in love. Wow, Queen of Pentacles. You have a very um, significant starting card here. It's similar to the Pisces reading I just did. And so your water sign sisters, you have similar um, first card, first energy out. Wow. The High Priestess, the Page of Cups, the Ten of Cups, Seven of Wands, the King of Cups, Eight of Swords, Seven of Cups, and Eight of Wands. You are very much into your... Um, water element right now you know your you know your emotion is just energy in motion it's just moving yeah nothing is stagnant here <laughs> i don't feel that something is stagnant your emotions are just rolling <laughs> strength is um, what we have at the bottom of the deck okay all right let me get you additional cards i forgot to draw it from here so let me get you from this other deck for scorpio please The sun and chariot, the hermit and the hanged woman. At the bottom of the deck, we have the magician. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Scorpio. Oh, wow. Wow. The first energy I am getting for you, Scorpio, is new love. There's someone new. Or this could very well be talking about that new person, that new love that you are you're kind of excited about. Yeah. There is someone here that is making you feel like you're making making you feel like you're twenty five year old again. <laughs> making you feel like, you know, how how it's like to be falling in love for the first time. But back then there were no baggages, but this time there could be some, but um, it's fresh. Yeah, this is new. It makes you feel young at heart. Yeah, this energy right here. And it's pretty fresh, like I said. And I feel like you're just going through the flow, going through the motion of it. Yeah, You're not really um, hesitating or doing anything that could um, either speed up the process of getting to know someone or slow down or backing off. You're not doing anything. You're just going with your own right pace in this situation. But this is new, Scorpio. And I feel like you are, there's interest from both parties. Um, this person makes you laugh. This person makes you uh, 
interested in them more yeah primarily because they are showing you some tricks some in a good way yeah they're showing you some of their skills basically that makes you that just makes you we just want to laugh just makes you um more interested in them there's something about this person that is pretty interesting so it could also be that they're charming uh that they know how to carry themselves in social situations um a performer for some of you this could be a creative type of person yeah but you feel like this person needs um some more time growing yeah it feels like you you feel like you're more mature than this person yeah perhaps mentally and emotionally um but that's not a problem here i don't see that as a problem because for you um you're just open for things to pan out in a rather more beneficial way if this is someone that could make you happy in the next uh, let's say 10 months you go for it you know it's it's more like that energy that you are embodying um but part of you scorpio you're not really showing this person the full authentic side of you just yet so you might be engaging with them uh you might be telling stories about what's happening in your life but truly how do you feel deep inside when you meet them how do you uh how do you react to let's say situations around you to the current events sometimes in this uh, the way i see it here is you're showing this person that you're easygoing that you have things under control you don't have um temper and things like that i am not saying that you do have that but what i'm saying here is more of you showing up with this person but a part of you is still pretty much kept hidden. Yeah, you're not um, fully open in in a authentic way. You're not being fake, but then you're just not there yet. It's a getting to know process, I feel. It's more like it's the beginning. There are some things about you that you have not shared. Some things that are relevant or significant about you that you have not shared about this person. It could be about your past, you know. You just met this person of course you don't say hey how are you i'm scorpio i just broke up with someone <laughs> you know it's not that you're i don't know i love this energy for you it's a very uh i see it's a loving caring kind of energy somebody who is emotionally stable yeah and someone who knows a lot but very um but choosy as to when you know you you say things out now um okay so yeah for those of you who just met someone i feel that this is the beginning of it all and this person makes you happy for now that's what i see but for those of you who are already dealing with someone and um I see here somebody may have uh, stepped back from this situation. Somebody may have blocked someone. Or somebody may just have been very selective in the way they deal with you. So for instance, if they dealt with you like, I don't know, eight hours a day in the past. Now they allocate a few hours. Like. I don't know, maybe one or two hours, a couple of hours to for you instead of what they used to give. Uh, for some, this is um, generally somebody who who just pulled away from you. They pulled away. They want to have their own me time. They want to generally somebody who needs their me time right now. So if somebody told you that they need to be alone i feel like it's not for you to take it in a bad way but rather give this person space mm -hmm. because there is some some things that they are undergoing right now um this could be a person who is feeling lost in the dark or feeling lost in in their life right now uh, for those of you I, I don't know i'm getting that this could even show something like a midlife event or midlife crisis for someone which i don't really 
like believe in that but um sometimes you hit uh, a road doesn't have to be your midlife but at some point in your life you will hit some roadblocks where you know you realize you don't really know where you're going or what do you really want tomorrow what do you really want in your life after all but you have been busy all this time you know and then just one day boom that hits you why you are doing all these things for and where are you heading i feel like this person that you have in mind is experiencing that 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 face so this could be a young person an old person whatever regardless of age they hit that roadblock they hit that face right now and therefore they need that me time yeah they need that me time i feel scorpio you already know that though somehow you are also able to give this person that level of understanding you can understand them and i feel like you're giving them space yeah and even from the distance i feel like you are learning to love this person even if you are not together yeah especially if they have withdrawn you are more ever more willing to to manage your reaction to how to manage your reactions to things or to events so you don't want to be abruptly fighting against people or being more emotionally driven in in situations this is more like you pretty mellow yeah pretty mellow and loving too um i feel like you already know whatever i am talking about here about this person you already know for now there is nothing much you can do especially if they are withdrawing from you and you know that so you're giving them space and there is this sense of you sort of hoping that someday sometime soon enough they'll come around you know that's that's the sense that i'm getting that someday sometime somehow this person will come around and things will be good again things will be uh, brought to light and you can start again doing what you need to do or you want to do I see that you are like I said very mellow and then that type of energy comes about after after the rain you know when you have done your healing process so for some of you this is definitely you just um, getting off that karmic wheel that you may have had in the past because your energy right now is very is very beautiful actually your energy right now is very beautiful it seems like whatever other people will throw at you they couldn't really do anything to anger you as much as before you know there is that sense of calmness and inner inner calm for you right yeah so just give this person time they'll come around that's what i'm seeing yeah it's not gonna be long i think in the next few weeks you'll hear from this person just give them some time i'm gonna leave it at that and let me know if this resonates in the comment section below and don't forget to hit like and subscribe